What is happening guys, it's Spruce Goose here, and welcome to my new series called Learn From The Pros, where I'm going to look at recent games from professional Madden players, and look at the plays that they're calling, and the strategies they're implementing, to try and help you take your Madden game to the next level. Today I want to look at the Cleveland Browns Club Championship game from this past week, which saw MCS superstar Joke win his fourth Browns Club Championship title. Now Joke has been one of the top MCS players for the past several years, and while he's typically known for his defense, I want to look at two plays that he was running on offense that I found extremely interesting. Now as always guys, if you like the video, please like and subscribe because it helps the channel tremendously, but I don't like super long intros, so let's jump into the first play from Joke. Now the first play I want to look at is Joke's touchdown run in the first quarter. Now if you've been watching any pro man this year, you've probably seen a lot of players audibling down. What that means is they're going to come out in a formation they feel comfortable passing in, typically shotgun, but they have their personnel set up so that they can audible into a running formation if they want to. So they might be able to audible into an I form or a single back or a strong formation, but whatever it is, they have their personnel set up so that they always have that option to audible down into that running formation. So let's go ahead and watch the play real quick, but you will see he comes out in gun trips, tight end, decides he wants to run the ball, audibles down into I form H slot and the moment his fullback gets set he hikes the ball and runs it for a touchdown so let's jump into practice mode and I'll show you guys exactly what he ran and how he set it up so there are really two main things you need to do for setup if you want to utilize audibling down the first one is you need to set your audibles in the formation you want to audible down into so in jokes case he was audibling down into I form H slot. So if we go into that formation and press left trigger on Xbox or L2 on PlayStation, it pulls up our list of audibles. And in this screen, guys, you need to make sure you have your play or plays that you want to audible into because you're not going to be calling it from the play calling screen. You're going to be calling it from the audible screen. So make sure you get your plays in there and dive alert bubble is the play that we're going to be calling. The second thing you have to do, and this is super important guys, is you need to make sure that the personnel and the formation that you come out in matches the personnel, the base personnel really, of the formation you want to audible into. So I form H slot, it's base personnel you guys can see is two wide receivers, one tight end, and two running backs. Now gun trips tight end, which is the formation that Joe came out in, is three wide receivers, one tight end, one running back. So how do you audible from a formation that is three wide receivers, one tight end, one running back, into a formation that is two wide receivers, one, one tight end, and two running backs? And the answer is you have to sub in a running back for one of your wide receivers. So I've gone ahead and done that. If you guys go ahead and look right here, I have Jalen Richard in for one of my wide receivers. So now we have two wide receivers, two running backs, and one tight end in our trips tight end formation. So, if we come out, and I believe Joke came out in X spot, let's put it on random defense. If you guys uh, go to Audible, you can see as we flip through the different formations by pressing left and right on the D-pad, it is actually going to let us Audible down into these formations that are base personnel, two wide receiver, one tight end, two running backs. And that is exactly what Joke did. He came out in gun trips, tight end, so that every play he could decide, do I want to pass the ball? And if he decides he wants to run it, he can very easily audible down into his favorite run play, which is dive alert bubble out of I form H slot. So the way he would do that is he would he would call his audible, and the moment his players got set, he's he's just spamming the hike button so that the moment his players get set, he is running the ball. And it was a pretty solid run. Now, obviously in the example, he ran for a touchdown. He ran the play several times throughout the game. That was the only one that went for a huge gain, but he said in the post-game interview, he thinks it is the best run in the game, and that is how he did it, guys. You have to set up your audibles, you have to set up your personnel, and in his case, the moment that fullback is set, he is spamming the hike button, and and he was just kind of off to the races. Now, we're only getting gains of like five or six yards, but I'd say that's still pretty great considering uh, running the ball is not as good this year as it was last year. Um, also, you know, he is playing in Mutt, which is going to play much, much differently than than regs right here, but that is how we did it, guys. It was the particular play, if all you're interested in is the particular play, it was a dive alert bubble out of I form H slot. Uh, what's great about the play is that, and I won't quick hike it this time, I'll, I'll show you guys the play. Uh, it is an RPO bubble, so if your opponent run commits, you can actually hit that bubble screen for huge gains. Uh, but 
there's not a whole lot to it. He was basically just just running it and kind of finding, you know, finding the gap. Sometimes he took up the middle, sometimes he cut it outside. Uh, but it's a really solid play. And what makes it so great, once again, is that he is coming out in gun trips tight end. He he has the option to pass it if he wants. But if he sees the defense and decides he wants to run it, it's super quick for him to just switch over to the dive alert bubble. And he's just spamming that hike button. The moment that fullback gets set, he is running it. And, you know, he was getting solid gains every time. So that was Joke's run play that went for a touchdown and the run play that he was using the whole game. So now, guys, I want to show you uh, his favorite pass play or what seemed to be his favorite pass play from that Browns Club Championship game. So on this play, guys, Joe finds himself in a little bit of a tough situation. It's second and 15 on his own 15-yard line, and he really needs to gain some yards to set up a more manageable third down. So he is going to go to a route combo that he was using several times in the second half of this game, and I think it's just an awesome route combo. It's a bunch of posts and slants just crossing each other, and he utilizes motion, which is something that I've seen a lot of the best pro players do. And you see that that slant on the B route just comes open against the man coverage, and he sets himself up for a third and one. So I want to go and show you guys the route combo that he used because I think you can use it against man, against zone, against pretty much anything, and something will almost always get open. So let's take a look at that one. So Joke came out in the formation gun trips tight end like he did most of the game, and the play that he called was X spot, and he made sure to flip the play so that the bunch was to the wide side of the field. And on defense, I'll go ahead and call random man coverage because I really think this is better for beating man coverage. It can beat both man and zone, but I think you ideally want to use this to beat man coverage. So his hot routes where he took his tight end and put him on a post because he had the tight end apprentice ability on his tight end. He put his running back on a flat route, which I can't do, but the swing route will be good enough. He took his B receiver and put him on a slant. He took his X receiver and put him on a streak. And he took his Y receiver, who's really his uh, running back subbed in right there, and motioned him over and then hiked the ball. And that slant route is just going to absolutely torch the man coverage for an easy game, just like we saw Joke did in his Browns Club Championship game. So I'll run it one more time for you guys. Tight end on the post, uh, B receiver on the slant, X receiver on the streak, take Y and motion him over. And again, a lot of these routes are going to beat man really well. Uh, but ideally, you know, we'll, we'll throw the, the tight end that time. Uh, any of the posts and corners from uh, tight end apprentice or hot route master are really, really great man beating routes. But we'll just run a couple more times for you guys. But it, it's a pretty simple route combo, but I think really powerful. The user cannot cover both sides of the field and you will have people beating their man on both sides of the field. And so uh, I I think if you guys uh, have a tight end with tight end apprentice or you have hot rod master, this is absolutely a route combo that you can use to torch man coverage. And if you go into practice mode, mess around with it against zone, I'm pretty sure it will beat zone decently well. But that's what I've got for you guys today. It's two plays from Joke, one of the best players on the MCS circuit. Uh, if you guys want to see more of these videos or have certain games that you want me to break down or certain players you want me to take a closer look at, please comment below and let me know. Uh, and as always, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. It would mean so much to me. But with that, guys, I hope you have an awesome day. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.